Lesson 58. Upstroke and downstroke in a groove. Upstroke and downstroke in a groove. It's possible to play the upstroke and downstroke movements also within a drum groove. For example, to obtain a decisive sound from the snare, or for a certain sound effect in an accompaniment, just know that the gestures you'll be making will always have a direct consequence on the type of sound and the precision of the strokes with respect to the tempo. Let's take a look at how to use the upstroke and downstroke, playing the first rhythm, starting just with the bass drum and snare. First phase. After you've gained confidence with the movements of your body, playing just the bass drum and snare, we can add the more common accompaniments, starting, however, with the ride, in order to not have your arms crossed, and this way allowing free movement of the hand to play the snare. Exercise 1. Exercise 2. Exercise 3. Exercise 4. Obviously, you may decide to play the rim shot or not, based on the sound you wish to obtain. Let's now cross our arms. Also playing as accompaniment, a light movement of upstroke and downstroke. Let's see. Naturally, you are always the one to decide the difference in dynamics between the accented stroke and the weaker stroke based on the sound you wish to obtain. In any case, I advise you at first to increase this difference to the maximum possible, in such a way as to better concentrate on the movement to make. At this point, you'll play the rhythms that we saw in lessons 22 and 24 playing the upstroke and downstroke movement as accompaniment. Now, to give you an example, I'll play exercise K from lesson 22. Exercise K, lesson 22. 